Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, we got... Uh, we had an exciting last episode as we, uh... We went through a whiz lab. We were on our... We were trying to deal with just elf. We got sent to a whiz lab, and then we got sent to the abyss. Uh, I'll just leave all these scrolls on the ground. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a cloak I want. Kind of want to swap too. How much removed curse do I have? Six. It's probably about time for a swap, really. So let's um, let's start amnesiaing some spells as well. Uh, like I don't need pain anymore. Or Takima's dance. Was it S? S. Yeah. That'll free up some spell levels to learn. Recall, yeah. Uh, where do I want Recall to live? Capital R? Let's put it on E. Regen is on R, of course. Uh, and we'll just we'll just uh, dabble in summonings while we do this. Just a tiny amount of. Um, of investment should get recalled pretty pretty well castable. Well, let's pick up this beef jerky again. Anything else we picked up we don't want? Yes, this stuff. Anything else? The amnesia we no longer want. So I think I'll like clear elf two or actually clear elf three and then do a switch because we'll probably find some more stuff we want. An equipment switch that is. We'll probably find some more stuff we want to swap in here. Uh, meanwhile, though, there's actually, like a substantial number of elves. Like, big surprise, right? Elf, there's elves, who knew? Are they? They're all fire mages! Well, come on! I've got ice mail! Guys, this is rude. They are rude dudes. Just let me get to this. Stupid elf mage, all right. There we go. All right, that's that taken care of. Now let's get started on some simulacra. I remember there's some scale mail upstairs that I kind of want, right? Ugh. It's on a monster that has not yet disintegrated, so I don't know about it. All right, I need to remember that because otherwise I'll forget. Well, <laughs> sort of a truism, right? Uh, but the game won't remember it for me. I wish there were some way for Control F to also recall stuff that you know is worn by a skeleton, uh, but I'm not sure like how you would make that happen. Right, let's go upstairs real quick. Uh, let's forget the map and re-explore, and then we'll we'll find it. It's like I want to be able to search for artifact armor and find it or whatever, and not have to remember it for the rest of the game, like exactly what it is. I know it's around somewhere. Lear's hauberk. Too bad we can't wear that. How could how did I not notice Lear's hauberk? I guess a monster was wearing it or something, and uh, I animated it. Right. An elf was wearing it, and I didn't notice. And then I made a zombie out of the elf wearing it, and then it was no longer easily visible to auto-explore. Well, too bad. No, no good for demon spawns. There it is. OK. I mean, it's not that good, right? No resists, but uh... now, do I need to go to the Hall of Blades? I think the answer to that is no. Uh, I mean, there's some experience, but I don't need a new weapon, right? What are the odds we, we would find A, a quick blade, and B, a quick blade of pain? And if we did, it wouldn't be close to plus eight, like, Maybe I'll come back another time, but right now I don't want to risk. I don't want to take on the risk of the Hollow Blades. 
uh, when the likely uh, advantage we would get from it is so small. Stop picking up lots of light. Oh yeah, you don't you don't want to blink next to all those simulacra, buddy. Plus two robe of magic resistance, huh? Arguably an improvement over a robe of fire resistance. Because getting hexed is a big problem and uh, we don't have any magic resistance items. Like I feel like by this point of the game, I usually have something. Hey, Force Lance, that's rude. Uh, this guy takes quite here. Why don't you guys handle him, please? I'll just I'll just hang it up here. Now let's get rolling. Uh, which a shop? Oh, it's a bazaar. Huh. Should have noticed that when I came in, I guess. Should have had a vision of a gate and I just didn't notice it. I, I probably did have one and didn't notice, I guess is what I mean to say. Jorgren. He doesn't have LRD, does he? He does. On the other hand, he doesn't have C invisible. On the other hand, there's deep health. Oh, they don't have C invisible either. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is mark this area as a no-go. Come back later when I don't have any simulacra. And then try to invisible him. Like, I don't know. We're not really going to get a stab. Maybe I should be training a little bit of stealth. Not specifically for stabs. Um, but just because, like, avoiding monsters like that continues to be good. Mm, yeah, it looks like the end vault is up here. God, it's, it's another fire mage! I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just like, it seems like it shouldn't be this many. Oh, I should stop making simulacra since my whole thing was I wanted to not have simulacra available uh, for fighting Jorgren. Because uh, if I'm invisible, um, monsters still have a chance to see. And I, I don't want to go into that bazaar right now uh, because I want to finish the rest of the floor. Yes, recall, recall, do it. Yes, simulacra everywhere, right, right on top of you, a bunch of undead elves. Cool. That was actually like super effective. And uh, Simulacrum is getting pretty good. Recall is almost where I want it. I'll just train a little more summoning. Like, isn't it amazing? We only have two levels of summoning, or, or up to like five levels of effective summoning. Oh. Yeah, let's. It's not going there either. Okay, so have our simulacra all died off yet? They haven't. Yeah, let's just wait it off. There we go. Now, we quaff flight just in case he does see us, which he quite possibly will. Double check that he can't see invisible. He really can't, all right. And let's cough invisibility. And I know the mages can't either, but I'll double check that, I suppose. Yeah, indeed. They still have a chance to wake up. Archers can't either, I think. Yeah. He still could wake up, is what I'm saying, but 
Nice. We killed him and didn't even wake up any of the nearby guys. All right, now they're awake, but that's fine. Nice four dwarf simulacra. By the way, it's so sad that he's no longer a deep dwarf. Deep dwarves don't exist anymore, uh, as enemies anyway. Um, in the same way that mountain dwarves don't exist as player characters. <laughs> I know, too soon. Some people are still really bitter about that, even though it happened years and years ago. Um, now let's make some skeletons. Just that there's some chunks to eat. And I think it was it was a good idea. I, I'm not going to get into the mountain dwarf thing. That was before my time. But um, to remove... Oh, wait a minute. I removed all exclusions. I meant to only remove the one near Jordan. I do that all the time. I just push the button to like remove all exclusions because when I want to remove one, cause usually there's only one I care about, and so it's, it's easier than finding the right one. All right. Uh, I think it was a good idea, though, to make Jorgren not a thief dwarf because, mm. and also player ghosts are no longer like thief dwarves. Oh, I should be more careful. Let us disintegrate ourselves a kill hole. Now, with the Deep Elf Elementalists, you know, this is not as safe as it used to be, but it's still better than charging in there. And if things start to go wrong, you can you can teleport or blink or something. But anyway, like, having Jorgren be a Deep Dwarf meant, like, it, you would... The right way to fight him was not a fun way, right? To, like, do a little damage to him and then, like, run away and then come back, and he couldn't heal because he was a Deep Dwarf, right? I would like you to wake up, please. There we go. Ow, Hellfire. Blade Masters. They do a lot of damage. It's only short swords, but the fact that he dual wields and is a blade master like is enough that even with short swords he can do a fair number. He can't see invisible, right? Yeah, you you kind of get used to the high level elves being able to see invisible, but some of them actually can't. Huh? They forgot about me. See so ya, yeah, stupid elves. A what? A wolf spider? You must be summoned or a shapeshifter, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, there's a bunch of monsters. Only one of them saw me, so that's fine. He's going to kill the skeleton real quick. But, you know, the skeleton did a reasonable amount of damage, actually. Look at that. Got into heavily wounded. Just Blade Master Skeleton, I guess. Uh, skeletons of the same species are not created equal. They have, like, hit dice and so on that are related to what they were when they were alive. Uh... You hear a shout times 20. I also like, deep elf elementalists are really customized towards fighting you in corridors, right? If I run away from this guy, he's actually going to be substantially more threatening because he can make a bunch more of these walls fall apart and stuff like that. Uh, where I am right now, he can't do a lot to me. He basically like has fireball. Is the only spell he has at the moment, I think, right? 
Freezing Cloud doesn't matter. Yeah, Fireball is the only thing he can do that hurts me if I don't move. But if I don't move, more of the other elves will see me. So it is a trade-off. I think I'm going to stay here just because I don't want him destroying my kill hole. Which is sort of like optimizing for the long term instead of the short term, which is not what you're supposed to do. I'm always arguing against it. But I think that they're both like, I don't know. I don't know how dangerous this guy is right now. He is obviously not dangerous. That is, the elementalist is not himself dangerous at all. Uh, he just made a little bit of noise, and now a bunch of other stuff is appearing. Really? Even this wall that's two tiles away from me. I didn't know that was how it worked. OK. Any buffs that I should use? Let's use haste, just so we can get in there. Really? Earth Oh, it was a fireball, not a hellfire. For some reason, I thought it was a hellfire. Okay, let's just get in there, kill this elementalist, so that we can get back to kill holing everything. Ugh, there's another one. There? Yeah. I just want to kill these guys and then teleport. Or possibly just walk away? Looks like I might not have to teleport. That's kind of nice. More elementalists. Come on, Grunt. Please. All right, let's just sort of tab this stuff. Oh, let's scry. How bad is it up there? There's another elementalist. All right. I like this new elf. <laughs> uh, the elementalists are adding sort of a tactical um, obstacle. That's interesting. Where's the dude? Where's the guy? This high priest, I see. I was noticing that this guy does not have his spells empowered, but this guy does? And I was trying to see who has got the Aura of Brilliance, and I guess it's this guy. But I'm surprised he has Line of Sight down here, actually. Whatever. All right, I, I just, like, I want to get out, but I don't know if I should, there we go. That's what I needed. I just needed him to be something to be killed so I could walk through. I feel like that is like message spam, right? I don't need all this junk. Do I? Maybe that's because I can't see the thing creating the aura of brilliance. I'm not sure. It's certainly like useless to get that much message if ooh. Um right, there we go. Now he's in miasma. Do we teleport? I mean, most places on the floor are better than this right now. But there's a couple places that are substantially worse. <laughs> uh, I think we just teleport and uh, yes. Let's quaff, I don't know, just a little curing better than passing a turn, right? I'm basically treating cloth and curing as a slightly better way to pass a turn. I would love to get this guy killed before the teleport goes off, but yeah, I didn't think so. So 
So we don't we don't have a kill hole anymore. God, these freaking lost souls, get out of here. I, don't know, I guess there's too many of them now. We're just gonna kill this death mage twice, I guess. Anyway, we lost our kill hole, but now they sort of they lost their tactical position too of being piled up in there. Right, they're now sort of wandering about the level, and we can fight them in smaller numbers rather than all at once. Maybe these simulacra also actually might kill him. Well, one simulacrum down. Yeah, nice kill, guys. Huh, he's even got in some freezing vapors, nice. But like, we can kill hole one elf so easily. I should just not be bothering in Simulacra while we're in this kill hole area. All right, these elementalists, they can see invisible, right? Yeah. I love how this foul stench, like, actually, we smell so bad it makes enemies sick. They get poisoned and vomit or whatever, I don't know. All right, come at me, bro. Just uh, come closer, please. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. The fireball's not very nice, but it killed him, so I can just walk away now. Yeah. And now that we're back to the kill hole. Huh! The lightning missed me twice, but hit him. Pretty nice evasion. Ah! I should have not charged towards him out in the open. Now there's two fiends. Right. All right, let's keep an eye on this combat. Uh, the Demonologist is nearly dead. I think I need to teleport. The two fiends can do a real number on me once they're done killing my skeletons. Oh, hello. All right, well, let's teleport again. What is a Nog? I guess it's in the shapeshifter. Probably the same shapeshifter in the uh, So the question is, what else do I do? Do I try to kill a, a couple of them while I'm in here, or do I just walk away? Or fog? I have three of those. I have some wands, but it's zero evo. They're not really relevant. Mm, I could summon some butterflies, which actually is sort of appealing. Yeah, let's let's get some butterflies. Whoa, this guy blinked right on top of me. Okay, so we could go for a kill on one of these two. I'm not sure which one. Okay, the one who didn't blink away, I guess. Hmm, this hurts. There we go. Oh, I can actually watch them fight. That's kind of cute. Because it's crying. It means I can't rest. It's a little bit annoying. There we go. Just as like an interface thing, I can't press 5. I have to... Uh skip a turn manually over and over. Short swords. It's nice that these blade masters have all had short swords today and none of them have had like quick blades or other nasty stuff. Ha! Okay, I actually, I forgot about that macro. Uh, I actually wanted to just, um, just clear that. I actually wanted to not make a skeleton this time.
So that's kind of funny. Uh, just because they're they're just gonna get monsters' attention and make it harder to kill hole. And hello, blink frog. All right, we're gradually taking care of all this. I actually do want simulacra though, I guess, since we seem to be in the middle of things. We've had we've been keeping regen up for quite a while, which is nice. Uh, Demonologist is up here somewhere, right? There he is, yeah. You really don't want to fight one of these out in the open. And that's that's the reason that I should be not making quite so much undead is um, that demonologists can summon fiends. I didn't notice what the debuff blade master was wearing by the, wielding. By the way, uh, they can summon fiends to fight my undead, even though like the torment doesn't bother them. They don't know that. They're just like, yeah, let's cast a spell. It's been yay. Short swords again. Fine. Uh, and so you end up with like fiends being created while you're not on screen, which sort of ruins the effect of the kill hole. But when you when they charge in here like that, they're just they're just in for a bad time. Uh, let's turn off summonings, right? This is recalls fine now. Yeah, let's keep working on. Oh, let's turn off shields too. Nice. On all this uh, necromancy nice magic stuff. Simulacrum is at seven, which is like fine. Oh, these guys are new. That must it's much. Oh, well, I'm not playing. I'm playing on trunk, right? I forgot. I was playing a game a little while ago, as I mentioned previously, on the branch with some experimental gods, and uh, it was a little bit behind. A bunch of trunk changes weren't there yet. So these guys replaced fire drakes, basically. Uh, and they're, I think, substantially more frightening. Uh, on the other hand, he seems to be almost certainly a shapeshifter, so I'll just wait for him to not be a Ryan Drake anymore. Fra Flash Freeze is a scary spell, and I, I overheard some chatter in the in the dev channel, which, by the way, anybody can join, uh, you know, uh, as long as you don't... Uh, like waste everybody's time by talking about a whole bunch of unrelated stuff. Like even if you're not a developer at all, and you don't ever plan on developing crawl, if you're interested in like what kind of stuff gets talked about, you know, design-wise, what might get added, and so on, um, you're welcome to come join us. Oh, look at all this loot on uh, on Freenode, the IRC network, and hash hash crawl dash dev. Uh, anyway, I overheard some chat about how Ryan Drakes um, are scarier than they were intended to be because uh, Flash Freeze doesn't really... Flash Freeze was built for monsters in... Interesting. In, um, in Pandemonium and Hell. And it, it scales down according to monster level, but not as much as it maybe should. So Ryan Drakes are doing more damage than was intended. They're pretty new, so there's still some tuning to do. Uh, oh, I never I never cured my mutations. Whoops. Which I think I do want to do. Okay, cool though. We got we got a stab or two or three. Nice. That's excellent. Should have maybe made some lacquer out of them, actually. But I guess this is fine. He's not summoning fiends, which is nice. 
Uh, I've already forgotten what I was talking about. <laughs> Book of the Dragon. Oh yeah, my mutations. Yeah, let's just let's just quaff this. I don't like blurry vision at all. Having wait, I've read some scrolls since then, right? I used my scrolls of teleport. Why did it not warn me about taking extra turns? Was I reading teleport while not in view of enemies, like in my kill hole or something? Hmm. But anyway, let's quaff it. You know, it's a shame to lose wild magic, but that's life. Book of Alchemy. Pass. Staff of Summoning, not relevant. Staff of Cold, could be kind of fun, I suppose. Staff of Power? I don't know. All this stuff is like, ooh, Dreams. Dreams has shadow creatures, which is somewhat castable. Let's just clean up this loot and these monsters. Ooh, fra ba 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 ba. Uh, none of stuff I actually really need though. I mean, I suppose I could summon Ice Beast. The power on this is pretty high. Of all our ice, train ice training, maybe just summon an Ice Beast would be a good way to supplement our ability to summon allies uh, via necromancy. Well, not summon so much as create, but you know what I mean. Book of Maledictions. I think that's a no, right? Yeah. What? What? I saw an artifact that it, like didn't bother to tell me about. Okay, it's a Fovenus, whatever, some sort of some sort of mace. Don't really care. It doesn't have paint on it, right? That's the important thing. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back into the treasure chamber and review the loot. What do we have? Chainmail of fire resistance. Could be okay, but I think uh, fire dragon armor would be better. Plus nine plate. Like we could maybe wear some plate. We could maybe wear some plate. And plus nine is pretty good. That's probably not worth doing. It would make our spells substantially harder to to do. Mm, brand weapon, you don't really care. Yeah, so that looks like everything. Oh, the bazaar, I forgot. That looks like everything, I think, that we want. Um, we picked up a bunch of books. Right, like we can learn abjuration. I should be training more spell casting, actually. Oh, our stealth went way up. That's why we got all those stabs. Just like action sorry boosts to your stealth, basically. That was that's pretty cool. Um how many pips do I have? Just four? Not that many. I was quite lucky to get the stabs, I think. But uh I mean we should we've got some books to 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 work through here. I'm not sure exactly what uh we want, but like Ice Beast is possible. Abjuration, probably, yeah. Like, that would help a lot with Deep Elf Demonologists, and I should have maybe picked... No, I, I didn't get it until I was done. Or maybe I got... I don't know. I just have been training something, and it hasn't been available yet. Like, it's not really castable even now. Uh, we could learn Azakubo's Refrigeration. Which, uh, does it do any damage stuff that's cold resistant? Oh, that's right. It prevents you from using potions, though. It's kind of scary. But that's like a spell I could learn along with Recall. And then maybe someday Freezing Cloud. Okay, so let's head to the bazaar now. Is that, can you hit, is that on go? It's not, all right. Let's hit up this bazaar. Hello, Master Archer. And I will drop some stuff that I do want, you know, long term, of course. 
Although actually these wands, like, I just don't have the Evo skill for them to be relevant at all. I, I'm never going to want Lignif. Well, I used it once. Let's just drop all my books. That's funny. I'm not going to find 12 things I want in a single bazaar. I do love rods. I'll at least put them on the list, although I probably won't end up buying them. Don't want any of that. I mean, brilliance for 28 bucks is a good deal, I think. I'm just putting all this stuff on my shopping list and then later I'll decide what to buy once I've seen the whole bazaar. You don't want to spend like 100 bucks on something and find out you're like 100 bucks short for something really amazing. All right, so what do we have? We could easily afford to buy everything I put on my shopping list except for the rods. Uh, and lightning rod and iron rod, much as I love them, do not really synergize with simulacra. <laughs> you know, just the you can't sweep an area without hitting your your allies, and then they get mad at you. So I think I'll, I'll pass. Which means I'll just buy everything I everything I want. And in fact, um, let's put this stuff on the list too. Identify? Sure. Huh, look at this. That's interesting. There's a bug. When, when you get a more screen, while you're buying things from a shop, it prints your gold in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> OK, let's put that on the to-do list here. Don't display player gold when in a more screen while from buying multiple items at once. So how many things did I get? I bought one, two, three, four, eight, nine things. And here there are just seven of them. So it doesn't have to be the last. It doesn't have to be like exactly as many, you know, right? Oh, that's weird. Has it always said escape slash R click? Because it knows I'm playing console. In theory, it shouldn't say that, right? Maybe it has never noticed and it's always said that. No, it's always said that. All right. Anyway, so it, it printed my gold, which goes here. You can, you guys can see that, right? That I highlighted? Yeah. Uh, Uh, even though it didn't display the rest of this whole player status screen. So that was a, an error, a mistake, a small one, but it would be nice to fix. Let's just buy all this. And I guess we're done, right? Anything else here that I... <sighs> Please! Ugh! I hate! <sighs> this just shows me shops. I don't want to see the shop. I want to see the stuff in the shop. Maybe I can get away with making that change. I put that in the wrong place. Let's just, um, I, th I think I mentioned I'm taking that. I'm putting it on my to-do list, right? There we go. So I, I don't like this feature that makes uh, stuff that you search for show the shop instead of the stuff in the shop. But there are people who do like it. Uh, I think this is horrible in a bazaar, especially. Like, how am I, am I supposed to even see what? I don't know, I have to like do this and page through all the stupid things? I guess it's okay. Oh, I forgot agility. So I want to buy that. So I guess, probably can't get away with making this change because it's no 
more useless for bazaars than it is anywhere else, sadly. Uh, okay. Just there are people who are like, I really like being able to look through each shop, and then I look at all the items in each shop, instead of just like looking at a list. You know, like, they're like, I look through every shop, and I look at all of them, but I really like that I have to look at each shop individually, instead of just looking at all the items available. I was like, are you crazy? Please. Uh, worst feature. All right. Uh, uh, we're done with Elf, though, and we finished the Bazaar, and so I think we're going to begin the next episode with some equipment swapping. Very exciting business. Um, arguably, I should, like, do that now, so it's at the end of the video, and you guys can tune out if you don't find it interesting, but tough luck. It's going to be at the start of the next episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next